tell you what, those South Australians really know how to make a scary movie. This is frightening as all sh Good evening, it's Adam here again with another quick instant move review for you. So tonight I caught the brand new South Australian horror thriller called You'll Never Find Me. Well, what's this one all about? Well, this tells the story of Patrick. He's a strange and lonely resident who lives in a mobile home at the back of an isolated caravan park. Mmm, doesn't sound too bright so far. We'll get this. After a violent thunderstorm erupts, a mysterious woman appears at his door, who is seeking shelter from the nasty weather. Mm -hmm. The longer the night wears on, the more this young woman discovers that mm, maybe Patrick is not all there, and she finds it a lot harder to leave. She begins to question uh, what Patrick's true intentions are, and Patrick himself starts to wonder if he's got a grip on reality and questions his own sanity whilst this woman is in his care. Oh my god. So this film is from first time filmmaking duo Hosanna Ellen and Indiana Bell. Uh, they're from South Australia. This is their first directorial debut although they've made a whole heap of award-winning shorts. This film is a two-hander. It stars Brendan Rock and Eleanor Carapetis. Now, this film was the only film uh, to be selected as the Australian film for the uh, 2023 Tribeca Film Festival and was awarded the Best Feature at the South by Southwest Film Festival in 2023 in Sydney. Now, this film is not going to change the scape in regards to, you know, creating something fresh and original within a genre. I mean weird guy in a caravan in a caravan park gets a knock on a door from a lonely woman during a thunderstorm and stuff starts to go very very wrong pretty sure we've seen something similar to that before in the past but the thing about this film is it's anchored by two absolutely extraordinary performances um both brendan and eleanor give an amazing performance and it is anchored by some extremely good direction like the direction in this is quite phenomenal the person who lends this has worked on Mortal Kombat and done some other TV stuff and worked quite extensively in that world uh, and I believe that they're an actor winner as well so that you know so this DOP knows what they're doing and along with these first-time filmmakers they've obviously really harnessed the craft of some very very professional um, and smart individuals who know their craft the audio design on this is extraordinary the foley the sounds just the the creaking the rain just seeps into your bones and makes you feel so uncomfortable this film is getting a very small theatrical release in Australia and then it is also being uh, I think released via Umbrella Entertainment um, but if you get a chance do see it in a cinema but see it with a really good sound system Otherwise, if you do get a chance to watch it at home, put on your noise-cancelling headphones, turn off every light, and listen to this film. It's amazing to watch because the, the scenes are phenomenal and the performances are great and the direction is really, really top-notch. But the sound in this film just... I, even now, thinking about it, I'm getting a tingle up my spine because it, it is so spine-chilling ironically um so a great example of fantastic foley and great sound design the production design on this is pretty sparse it's pretty um you know it's pretty phenomenal what these guys get away with in this caravan which look to be fair feels a lot bigger than it actually probably actually is but um the filmmakers use very interesting use of light um of of practicals as well as surreal reds um and that blurring of reality to something a little bit more sinister and maybe more psychological is really smart um and this this film terrified me by the end uh when it does get a little bit loosey-goosey and i didn't sleep very well <laughs> 
for a couple of nights afterwards. And it's not that it's, it's not that it's, oh, it is a horror film, but it's a psychological film that I think is scarier than blood and guts and, you know, hacked off body parts. That kind of stuff, after a while, we've kind of seen it all uh, and, you know, it's all gross. But I think when something plays on your psyche, it has a deeper effect. And that's what this film has. It had a very deep effect on me. Uh, it was a phenomenal first time film and again south australians we had the racka racka brothers you know doing some amazing stuff with talk to me last year this film just solidifies to me that there is something in the water in south australia in that murray river water there is something which is creating some serious sinister filmmaking out there uh, and this is just another example of it so if you get a chance please go and find um, you'll never find me because it is a masterclass in great acting, phenomenal sound design, and really, really smart direction in one location. Definitely catch it. Um, I'll put some links down below as to where you can. So do try and catch this if you can. It's called You'll Never Find Me. I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10. It was scary. That is it for me for this week. Um, hope you have an amazing night, morning, evening, whatever. And if you do want to make a comment, comment below and let me know what film has psychologically stayed with you for as long as you can remember that you're afraid to go back and watch again. <laughs> I can think of a number. This is going to be one of them. All right. Catch you next week.